Hello everybody! Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to another video from the series of All Speaking Cue Card Questions. In this video, again, I prepared my own answers to one of the late All Speaking Cue Card Questions to guess if it's related pottery questions. If you're ready, let's start! Today's question is one of the questions requested by channel subscribers. The question is Describe a photo or a picture in your house or in your room. So if you're interested to hear about the photo, which I will tell you about in this video, stay tuned. But before we dive into the main content of the video, as a tradition, let me quickly introduce myself. I am Gulora Muzaffarva, an English and arts teacher, and let me show you my arts certificate as a proof of my current English level. So as you can see, my overall band score is 8.5 and on the screen you can see my scores from each section of the test. Now let's go back to the main part. And another important note about the purpose of these videos, my purpose of making this series of videos is to help you to come up with ideas for different all speaking questions, to help you find words and phrases and different grammar structures which will come in handy when you talk about different all speaking topics. Because as a teacher, I know that the main difficulty for many all test takers is not only language skills, it's not only grammar and vocabulary, but also ideas. Because I've got a lot of students who are studying for ALS exam and when I ask them different ALS speaking questions, different topics, their brain starts freezing and they don't know what to say. They usually ask me, can you help me to find ideas for this question? Could you please share your own opinions on this topic? So in order to help my own students and my other students on the internet, I created this series of videos. So watch my videos to find about different ideas, to find about different ways of answering a range of all speaking questions together with learning different words, phrases and grammar structures. But you should never learn my answers by heart because in your exam you will be penalized by your examiner for giving memorized answers. Instead of learning answers by heart, listen to my speech, watch my videos, get some ideas, get some vocabulary and grammar structures and include them in your own speech. So I have the photo in my hands, you can see on the camera. Now I'm going to describe this photo. Well, by nature, I'm not into keeping and collecting photos in my room because I consider the fewer things you have in your house, the less clutter you have in your room and on your mind as well. But however, there is a photo which I really liked and this photo was presented by two lovely girls. And I was lucky to work with these girls in our office before the coronavirus lockdown. And they left a lasting impression on me because these two girls were really hardworking and responsible. Um, that they give me this forum as a present on the 8th of March. Well, 8th of March in our country is celebrated, is considered as a day of paying tribute to women, showing them how much we love and how much we value them. Unlike in other countries where 8th of March symbolizes women's movement for gender equality. So you can see this photo is put in a beautiful frame, in a silver color frame. And this is actually a collection of three photos and I'm going to describe each of them individually. In the background you can see sea waves gently lapping the shore and in the foreground there are three photos. In the first photo I'm with my husband and on the day we were celebrating my birthday, we were just hanging out in the city. You can see that uh, my eyes were sparkling because I was so happy on the day and we had a radiant smile on our faces. In the next picture, I am posing for a photo in front of a car which is made as an ornament in one of the mountain resorts in Kazakhstan. We traveled to this country in winter and I remember it was freezing and biting cold and I could hardly pose for a photo because I had to take off my coat for the photo. Um, well, in the next photo, there is a selfie with my little sister. My little sister is a cute and sweet girl and I think we bear striking resemblance to each other because we have a lot in common such as dark eyebrows, rosy cheeks and round face. Actually, she takes it as a compliment when other people say to her that you look, uh, you look like your elder sister. She likes it very much when other people comment on our similarities. So I think 
think that's the best gift I've ever received. Now let's move on to puffery questions. As usual, I will be reading the questions from my phone and answering them one by one. There are three questions in puffery. So the first one, why do you think people like taking photos of themselves and others? Well, nowadays, at present, photos are an integral part of our lives and we can't even imagine a single occasion, a single event without taking photos because our life is made up of moments and we want to catch important, vital moments of our lives. We want to document it for all eternity and the photos help us as reminders of our past life. They show us what kind of steps, what kind of phases we have been through all our lives. I usually don't like looking through old photos, but from time to time I come across some of my old photos and it really gives me some food for thought. And I start contemplating about my life, I start thinking about uh, whether I'm on the right track or not, whether I'm going for the right destination or not. And at these times, I usually have a mixture of feelings. Sometimes I feel regret for things I didn't do, for things I did wrong, and sometimes I feel proud of what I did in my life. For other people, photos and videos might serve as an evidence because they want to document important events, vital occasions in their lives and use it as a future reference. For example, I know a YouTuber who recorded, who documented every part of her journey on YouTube, her growth on YouTube, and now she has a huge following on social networks and she uses these photos and videos uh, to set an example to her followers. The next question, question number two. Do you think it's ever worth hiring a professional photographer? Yes, it goes without saying. Also, today we have an easy access to cameras and we have cameras installed right in our phones. This doesn't necessarily mean that we're able to take high quality photos because professional photography requires a certain amount of skill and expertise and many of us don't know the techniques and tricks of taking impressive photos so we do have to address to professional photographers to do this for us and besides that nowadays there are a lot of people who want to build their influence on social networks and uh, photos are one of the best means to do this so there is a growing demand for professional photography more than before the next question question number three what are the advantages of taking photos on a mobile phone instead of on a normal camera? Well, there are of course several pluses of using a mobile phone to take a photo. First of all, phones are easily accessible and portable, while cameras are usually heavy and inconvenient to carry with you. And besides that, using a phone doesn't require any know-how. Even toddlers can take a photo using a mobile phone. But on the other hand, whenever you have a camera, it requires a certain amount of knowledge to use it properly, to use it correctly. For example, it happened to me several months ago when I purchased a camera, I thought that I would be taking professional high quality photos right after getting it. However, it didn't turn out to be so. It took me several weeks to learn how to take good photos on a camera. And besides that, it's remarkably easy to share your photos on social networks whenever you take them on a mobile phone because we have several apps of social networks directly connected with our gallery of our phones so we can share fresh photos of ourselves our selfies right after taking them on our phones uh, but when I use my camera to take photos, I have a double task. I have to connect my camera to my computer, download the photos from the camera memory, and then share them on my social networks. This is time consuming for me. Maybe there are some late versions of cameras which allow you to share your photos right after taking them on the camera. But thirdly, the one which I'm using doesn't have such a function. Thank you very much for watching this all the end. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And for those people who watched it till the end, let me give you a bonus. I'm going to share with you the topic of my next video. In my next video, I'll give away my top 5 secrets of scoring 9 
twice in my auto listening exam. If you don't want to miss, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Also, give me a like for this video. Once again, thank you very much and see you in my next video.